Well, it's Christmas in a week and a day, and lots of people are asking whether it's going to be a white Christmas or not. Well, not too sure about that one, but what I am confident about is that there's going to be quite a change in our weather as we go through into that Christmas week. Now, here is our probability plot for the next two weeks, and the blues indicating lower pressure more likely. We can see we're either having a westerly or southwesterly dominated pattern at the moment, which is why it's quite mild, yes but also quite wet and quite windy. However, as we go through this coming weekend and through Christmas week, well, notice all the reds, quite a festive look to this chart. Pretty high confidence that we're going to see higher pressure dominating either Scandinavian high or high pressure just to the north of the UK. So our weather is set to turn quieter, drier, and uh, it could be a little bit chillier as well, but I have more information about that in just a second. For the time being, well, currently there's still a marked temperature contrast with colder air to the north, colder air across parts of North America, and then much milder, warmer air towards the tropics. And it's this temperature contrast that's led to this active jet stream, and this active jet stream is driving the, the wet, the windy weather that we're going to see through the next few days. There's currently a wave just to the southwest of us, a waving front. And this is heading towards us. So after a, a fairly wet day for many places on Wednesday and then a, a dry start for most places on Thursday, that frontal wave is going to push in. And so we're going to see some more heavy rain and blustery winds across many parts as we go through Thursday itself. Now, the, the wettest weather looks likely to be across southern parts, uh, across much of southern England, also South Wales. We could be looking at 40 to 50 mi uh, millimetres in some places, perhaps even a little bit more over some of the high ground across parts of southwest England and South Wales. And we also need to watch out for strong, some strong blustery winds. We're talking gusts uh, 40 to 50 miles per hour, maybe 60 miles per hour in exposed spots across parts of the southeast and perhaps close to 70 miles per hour across exposed parts of the southwest. Even elsewhere, it's going to be blustery and that wet weather is going to feed its way north and eastwards as we go through the day. Eventually, it clears away. There'll be some showery rain following in behind, but drier weather following as we go overnight. Night, Thursday night and into Friday. And then Friday itself, a bit of a respite. It does look like a drier day for many places. Some decent sunshine here and there, just a, a fair few showers across northern, perhaps some western parts, and temperatures, if anything, a degree or so down compared to Thursday. But it's not going to be as unsettled a day, not as wet, not as windy, more sunshine on offer. So probably for many people, well, feeling a little bit more pleasant. Then, as we go into the weekend, well, there's a front out towards the west, and this is heading our way as we go into Saturday. It's quite a narrow band of rain that's likely to push its way through, but nonetheless, there could be some line convection along it, and so we could see uh, a few rumbles of thunder, some heavier bursts. That front's not expected to make too much progress across the country, actually, so it's western areas where we're going to see some wet weather, particularly on Saturday, and then it kind of breaks up, it weakens a little bit and fizzles out before edging back back westwards as we go through the latter part of the weekend. Elsewhere, there will be a few outbreaks of rain, so not totally dry through this weekend, but it does look like the wettest weather will be across western parts, and that's where, we're, again, we're going to have some strong winds as well as we go through Saturday. But let's look at the rainfall totals because they are important. They're going to continue to build up through the next few days. It's been pretty wet recently across many places, especially towards the west. The ground is so very saturated, and so no real rain is welcome for many places because of the ongoing flooding issues. And we are going to see a few more issues as a result of that wet weather. Initially, that, that frontal wave coming in from the southwest on Thursday, leading to some high rainfall totals, like I said, South Wales, Southwest England in particular particular, then yes, Friday's a drier day, but on Saturday, then that next front that comes in across western parts, well, that's going to add to those rainfall totals. So through the rest of this week and into the weekend, some places across parts of the west and southwest in particular, where they could see uh, 100, maybe even close to 150 millimetres building up. Now, Saturday's rain, like I mentioned, it's quite a narrow band on its own, probably wouldn't be enough to cause any issues. But because the ground is already so wet and we already have those ongoing issues, that further wet weather that's going to be coming through, well, it could cause some more problems. So do stay on top of any warnings that may need to be issued, especially because of the wet weather that's going to be happening.
But there are also going to be some strong blustery winds to watch out for too. So as the frontal wave pushes in on Thursday, watch out across southern parts, some strong gusts, like I say, 50, 60 miles per hour, perhaps 70 miles per hour in some exposed coastal parts towards the southwest. Then winds easing a little bit on Friday, still a bit blustery, but not as windy. And then as this uh, front comes into western parts, some strong gusts mixed in with that as well. Eastern parts of Northern Ireland, for example, could see some strong gusts as we go through Saturday before eventually those winds ease as this front starts to fizzle out. But let's look now ahead to Christmas week and the uh, the setup for Monday the 22nd of December, well it's a, it's a bit of a transition day of sorts. I, I've highlighted at the start that we're going to go from this more unsettled, changeable regime to higher pressure becoming more dominant. And, and that's starting to occur as we go through Sunday and into Monday. But looking at the pattern, well, we have a Scandinavian high on Monday, but that's relatively far away still at the moment. Various areas of low pressure nearby, uh, some more unsettled weather across parts of France, for example. But then also notice this ridge of high pressure out towards the west. And this ridge is likely to uh, push up a little bit more and help interact with the uh, blocking high over Scandinavia. And as a result, I think as we go through through Monday and more so into Tuesday, we're going to start to see this high pressure becoming a bit more dominant and pushing its way more across towards the UK. So if we look to the most likely setup for Tuesday the 23rd of December, Christmas Eve Eve, and we're going with around a 50% chance of that high pressure now sitting across northern parts of the UK or just to the north of the UK. The second and third most likely setups, they're actually quite different. Um, not particularly high percentage chance of these, so um, not going to take those too seriously at the moment. But 50% chance for this sort of lead time, well, that's relatively high. So good signs that we're going to see this high pressure developing and sitting somewhere towards the north of the UK. As we head towards Christmas Eve, and confidence actually increases. 60% chance now of high pressure sitting just to the north of the UK, bringing quieter weather for sure. And uh, the second and third most likely setups, yes, they have relatively low percentage chances, but they're quite now similar to the most likely setup. High pressure nearby just as to exactly where that high pressure is going to be sitting. Well, the, the detail isn't quite there yet, but it looks pretty likely that it's going to be just to the north of the UK, maybe slightly further towards Scandinavia, maybe slightly further towards the west of the UK, but nonetheless, high pressure dominating our weather as we go through Christmas Eve. And it's a similar story for Christmas Day. So at this lead time, 50% chance of high pressure over northern parts of the UK, bringing some generally quiet weather. So it's going to be markedly drier than it has been of late. But we do also need to look at where our wind direction would be coming from. So with high pressure just to the north of us, remember, wind goes round high pressure in a clockwise direction, we would be dragging in our air from the east. And uh, you're probably aware at this time of year, an easterly wind is quite a chilly one. But we have to throw in the, uh, the fact that actually across many parts of Europe at the moment, there's less snow around than we normally see at this time of year. So although an easterly wind is a cold wind at this time of year and uh, it is going to lead to a drop in our temperatures, so something a little bit chillier, it probably won't lead to uh, as much of a drop in our temperatures as you, we would otherwise have seen had there been more widespread cold weather currently across parts of Europe. Now, a quick look at Boxing Day, and it's a similar story, really. The percentage chance drops because it's getting further ahead, but still going with the idea of high pressure continuing. And if this most likely setup comes off with high pressure staying just to the north of the UK, we continue with that easterly. And the longer we have that easterly, well, that more of that colder air to the east of us that we could be catching. So, uh, you know, the longer it lasts, there's the potential that we could start to get some of our air coming from Siberia, for example, by which time, well, that would be markedly colder. A quick look at temperatures then in terms of how this setup, the most likely uh, setup for next week would play with regards to our temperatures. And 
As I mentioned, in Eastley, it is a chilly direction, so you would expect temperatures to be a few degrees below average most days, uh, particularly towards the west, but even in the east, uh, a little bit chillier. And worth noting, chillier than it has been at the moment with the wet and the windy weather, the westerly, the mobile pattern we have at the moment, where well, temperatures have been generally above average, but we're going to see a change in that. Uh, with those temperatures as we go through into next week to something uh, a bit colder than average. We can also look at our temperatures if we look at our ECMWF plots through next week. And here's London, for example, and at the moment uh, a bit above average, and they're staying a little bit above average through the rest of this week and into the weekend, but a gradual decline. Now notice it's not a sudden sharp drop off. It's not a huge plummet in our temperatures as we sometimes get with an easterly. No, no, no. It's just a gradual drop off in our temperatures as we go through next week. Uh, and. Uh, uh, that, that's what you would expect really with that easterly that I mentioned and the fact that the cold air to the east of us isn't as cold as we sometimes see at this time of year. I did also want to show you the same chart but this time for Edinburgh uh, and it shows something similar in as much as we're seeing a gradual decline in our temperatures but um, perhaps the, the drop off not quite as marked in as much as the most likely setup doesn't have the temperatures dropping quite as much lower as what we're going to see through the next few days. That being said, there's actually quite a large spread as we go through towards Christmas Day, Boxing Day in particular. And uh, whilst the most likely forecast is for maximum temperatures around kind of that kind of bracket, so around six, seven degrees, that kind of thing, so a bit chilly, uh, there is the potential that it could be a fair few degrees colder than that if a, if a few things come off. Now, with regards to the forecast for Christmas week, I'm pretty confident that we're going to see high pressure building. And so that means we're going to see things turning a fair bit drier than they have been of late. Not totally dry, there could be a bit of rain around at times, mainly towards the west, but I think it's generally going to be largely dry. With that, if we get that easterly developing, which is quite likely, we are set to see our temperatures dropping off, so it's going to turn colder than it has been at the moment. And in that easterly, we could see a few showers coming in. And so around some eastern parts of the UK, a few wintry showers aren't out of the question. A little bit of sleet, a little bit of snow could be possible in the run up to and as we go through the Christmas period. But it's awfully far ahead. Nothing widespread, nothing impactful looks likely at the moment. So even if we did see something, it, it, it looks just a few light wintry showers here and there and nothing really to get excited about at this light lead time as well. The bigger cause of concern in terms of any impacts from the weather that we can expect through that Christmas week will be because of the colder weather with uh, the return of some overnight frosts and also the potential of some mist and fog patches which could cause a little bit of travel disruption as well. Of course we will be keeping you up to date with the forecast for the Christmas period as we get nearer the time. Lots of people asking whether it's going to be a white Christmas or not. Uh, I mean technically for it to be a white Christmas remember we only need one snowflake recorded anywhere in the UK so that is possible at this sort of lead time, but uh, it's definitely something that we'll firm up on detail-wise as we get nearer the time. Whatever you're up to though, have a great rest of your day and uh, enjoy the Christmas period. Bye-bye.